Welcome back, folks. We are in Control Lines Lair, and that's not where we want to be. But in the last one, we set up the uh, oil thing, the fuel lines, going over to Virginia Beach. But in Waterbury and in Tacoma, we are not reach really reaching anything. In Virginia Beach, we're reaching most of town. Uh, but I think we will set up a little thing here, a little uh, delivery line. And we'll do the same in Tacoma and Waterbury. And then we'll start hooking up our grand... Um, our grand cargo line up along our spine of the world uh, rail line. So let's get started. In here, we need cargo, we need cargo, and we just need drop off. And basically, we need a single drop off up here, I think. Um, yeah, for well, now at least. And then I also want... Oh, what's that? Greyhound bus station. Oh, that, that one. I also want a bus tram station. Uh, which is going to be in here. I think. So like that. And then up here, I want the same thing. First of all, I want a cargo stop here. A medium city one should be fine. Um, kind of like that, I think. And then we also want a bus tram station. But that doesn't need to be that big. Mm. Small inland, no. That's way too big. That's more like it. We probably don't need it to be that big, but... I like the design, so let's do that. And we won't have trams in Waterbury. And then we need a couple of passenger stops in Waterbury. Uh, I think we'll have one up here. And we'll have one out here. It's a very spread out city, Waterbury, considering it's not very big. So that, I think, will do. And then, of course, a cargo drop-off point. I think we're going to want two here. So we'll do one there, and we'll do one up here. Hmm, and maybe one down here, in case we get post at some point. Or mail. All right. And then down here, let's see. Where do they want fuel? They want fuel right there. I don't think we're going to bother with Virginia Beach for just now. All right. So Tacoma already has a road depot. Uh, we need a road depot over here. Which I think we'll put... Let's put it up here. Hmm. Yeah, let's just put it right there. And then in Virginia Beach, we don't need one. All right, so we need a couple of new lines. We actually need four new lines. Uh, this one will be... From here. To there. What? That, that station. From there. 
to there. Okay. And this will be uh, Tacoma uh, Fluid Deliveries. Okay. Then we need another new line, which will go from here to here to here and back again. And this will be Tacoma Circle. All right. Then up here, we need a new line, which is going to be from here to here to here to here. And this is going to be Waterbury uh, Fluid Deliveries. Mm. And another new line, which is going to be from here to there, to there, to there, and back again. And this is going to be Waterbury Circle. And then we'll do uh, Waterbury Circle the other way as well, just for good measure. So Waterbury circle one all right so trucks five vehicles and i don't think we want the peterbilts on the internal things uh, i think i want these ones the tank trucks and i actually think one is enough down here for the Tacoma uh, fluid deliveries. It's that weird color. Uh, I think it's that one, but I'm not sure. But we're going with it. Uh, so Tacoma fluid deliveries. Oh, and we can let time pass a little bit. And then we need a passenger. Trolley bus. Don't suppose they have a Tacoma one here? No. All right, we'll do a Boston one. Uh, we'll buy two, I think. And you need to be Tacoma Circle. Uh, this weird color. Uh, I think that's that one. Let me know if I'm getting the colors right, or if I'm royally screwing up. Because uh, I have no idea. Uh, Alright, uh, buy vehicles, cargo. And we'll go with the tank trucks. I think we'll go with two of them here. And this is Waterbury. Has to be down at the bottom, right? Waterbury... No, Waterbury Fluid Deliveries. That one. I think that's that one. The Waterbury Fluid Deliveries. There we go. And then... Passenger. We want... Let's go with some more of these. Let's go with a Dayton 900. And we'll go with two and you will be on waterbury circle uh, they're almost the same color if not the same color no they're not are they exact same color i have no idea man. uh but these guys are gonna be i think it's this color again i have no idea if i'm right but we're going with it. And then let's do the Edmontons. Uh, two of them. Bye. And I think they were this color. Uh, Waterbury Circle 1. Alright. So there's that. 
then we can also do a new line for the passenger service going over here. Unless we already set that up, that would be Tacoma, Virginia Beach, or Virginia Beach, Tacoma. Um, nothing here for Tacoma or Virginia Beach. There's nothing, so no, we didn't. All right, so new line from Tacoma to Waterbury to Virginia Beach and back to Waterbury. And this is going to be the Tacoma, Virginia Beach commuter. Okay, so when that is created, and then we need a train for it, or a couple of trains. Uh, so I think we're going to go with steam for this, or electric, sorry. Uh, the new ones seem kind of sucky. Uh, let's go with the PRR. Whoa, uh, did I add you? Whoa. And then some passenger carriages. All American gold sand. Uh, we want something that can go as at least as fast as the train. So I guess it'll be this one. And we'll add three cars to it. We'll buy two of them for 40 million. And Tacoma, Virginia Beach commuter are this uh, this color, uh, which is this one, I do believe. And we will set you on the Tacoma, Virginia Beach commuter. Okay. And there they are. That is a nifty color for them. I kind of like it, though. So you're you're going very slow. Oh, but that's because we put the game slay at slow. So there you go, and you're on the right track. Beautiful. So this will mean that we'll get passengers going over to Virginia Beach from Tacoma and Waterbury, and they'll want to go up to Frisco and. Provo and more importantly Olath and Murrieta because they are popular stations to get off at. Uh, so yeah. Okay. And we are getting fuel here. So if we take a look at you, we have three consumers here. 42, 11 and 9. It's not great. But once we get this built up to Frisco and more importantly up to Provo and the others, then it'll be wonderful. All right, we got some new reefers and an Alco. Okay. Uh, let's see. On here, we're not delivering any fuel down to Topeka, are we? Uh, no. And does Lubbock want fuel? It does. Okay. Okay. So we already took a, a train ride through these, so we're not going to do that today. Um, do have a few passengers waiting here. So that's good. And even one or two at the station six six people waiting at the train station okay no one here though but they should come we have a few people waiting here all right
righty. So this is all good. Do you, are you bringing anything? You were bringing something. That needs to go on the train, I guess. Yeah, 29 fuel sitting there. Okay. So let's start building up here through Frisco and up to Provo, which needs a cargo station somewhere. Which needs a cargo station somewhere. We'll figure that out later. Um, let's get this track going. And of course, we'll basically just follow the other one. And up here, uh, can we configure this and add some platforms? We can. So let's get... Well, I always do that. Always do that. Where, where'd the sound go? There it goes. Alright, uh, high speed. And there, 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 there. And another cargo platform. There we go. Okay. And then we'll get this running. Now, where was I going to add a... I have an extra set of passenger tracks here. Was I going to go over to Yonkers? Or was, was I going to go to Waterbury and Tacoma? I think I was going to go Waterbury and Tacoma, but we went down to Virginia Beach instead. So these might be redundant, and we can fix that if it turns out that they are. Also because I kind of changed my approach a little bit that I want to kind of have a lot more truck routes uh, and just have the main lines and a few offshoots of, of rails like over to Midland, over to uh, Tacoma here. So I think Yonkers will just be fed by a bus line and go up to Frisco or Topeka or Topeka uh, and uh, any goods that it wants will be fed by trucks I think because I think that could be kind of fun so this will come out here and this, this will come out here and then we need a little cross there So, not like that, apparently. And definitely not like that. Okay, here we go. That's beautiful. Are you bringing in any money? You should be. A little bit, anyway. Yeah, 246,000 not amazing but it's money it is money so this will come up through just following just following completely up to around here and then it'll break off Okay, and then you pull into there, and pull into there. Okay, so that's all good. Then we need to come up to Provo, and if we... Oh, that's going to be a bit in the way, isn't it? Uh... Let's take you out. And we're just going to come out and 
follow these rails. So something like that. And then we're just gonna head up along alongside the others. Because going up and down these slopes is horrendous. Why is it not snapping? They're snapping. Oops. Snap. Okay. Like that. It might actually be possible now that we have better trains to go a more direct route, but the problem is actually the rails. The problem is that the rails are making weird bridges and stuff because it's so hilly, and I don't want that. Okay. And then in through the tunnel here. And up there, beautiful. And then we need to figure out where the heck we're gonna place this uh, cargo station in Provo. Are we gonna come up and over and place it over here? And then come up and over here? Or are we gonna place it over on this side? I actually think it's a better idea to place it over here because it's a more direct route into there and here we already have a couple of stations and yeah I think I want to place it over here so let's see if we somehow can get up and over here we can all right that's perfect so let's get a passenger station or a cargo station down here. Uh, I'm going to bulldoze this road and unfortunately that house. Sorry people who live there. Uh, and we want a cargo station. I really wish we had some cooler cargo stations than the stock ones. You know what, let's we want these. And I think we want you to come out here. And in there. And that'll do nicely. Alright. That is very well lined up, I think. So we'll go there. And then we can have a truck station in here somewhere to deliver stuff. Okay. Uh, tracks. Uh, speed. Ooh. It'll be kind of close that we can get down and in there, isn't it? I don't know. Um, this actually looks okay to me, direction-wise as well. So let's try and build a bridge here. That actually looks okay. I don't mind that bridge at all. Let's do that. And then we'll come into there. Now that's a bit low over the road, but that happens, that happens, that's fine. I know in Denmark we have a rail bridge that is extremely low over the road. Oh, come on. Thank you. Alright, you know what? Let's bulldoze that road a bit. We'll scoot it over a bit. Because that seems like the way to go. OK. 
Okay, so that comes in there. And then we'll rebuild this road. We'll come over and like that. I think we'll come over like this. God, that's ugly. Alright. And then we like that. That's okay by me. Okay, so that takes us to Provo. Um, let's make a... For now... You! I do that mistake every time. Okay. Let's do a cross over there. For now. And let's get some uh, signals in there. Uh, where are we? There. All right. And we want auto sig. Yes, please. And then we'll go down to the other side. And auto sig ends here. So there. And then we will do no auto sig. Uh, did I do it on the wrong track? I did. Okay, fair enough. Uh, hi. There. Signals. Auto sig is off. And we'll do one there and one there. Okay. Oh, I. Stupid me. Never mind. We have an extra crossover point. That's fine. Then we'll do auto six from there. Auto six from here. And that works. And I forgot to make them one way, which is not okay. Um, then we'll turn auto six off and we'll do there and there. And I think just fix these down here to be uh, yes yes and up here as well to be yes and yes okay good now we have that going for us and we can continue up to Olaith, where... Hmm. Olaith goes in here and then continues over there. So we'll make a new platform here. And that needs to come into Murrieta here as well. So we're going to need another platform here. Or another couple of platforms to come over this way come up here and continue down this is going to be an intri intricate railroad and i love it and i love it all right so new line and from there there to there and then for now, it's going to go back to Frisco and in. And this is going to be the Spine Fluid uh, Hauler. Spine Fluid Hauler is going to be the name because it's our spine of the world rail network that we're gonna have going all the way and it's not just gonna be oil it's also going to be milk and stuff like that if we have milk in the game in this one i don't actually think we do 
But then there's uh, crude, there's oil, um, there's alcohol, which I think is a fluid as well, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but we have a few fluids that we can haul. Well, alcohol is a fluid, but I'm not sure it's a fluid in this game, is what I mean. So, okay. Um, let's get a depot in. And we had a depot up here, which was in the way. And I actually think we're going to put the depot up here and have it feed both tracks. So, uh, buildings, depot, and I think we're going to go this way. So, something like there. And tracks, high speed with batteries. Yes. And it's going to come all the way over there. We're going to have a double slip switch there so that it can come down that way. And that's fine. And a signal. A signal. And this one, I don't think I want to be one way. So like that. Alrighty. And then we can buy some vehicles uh, we definitely want steam on this I think because that is just the most powerful 105, no steam 130 kilometers hour electric can do 160 but it can't take the same capacity so I think it's going to be big boys for now it's going to be changed later but for now it's gonna be big boys and we are gonna go with some of these tank cars yeah these tank cars and we'll start from the bottom so add 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 add, add. let's go with the black edition Add, 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 add. And with the... On rail. One, two, three, four. And that takes us up to 208, 306 meters. I don't think we can actually put another one on there. No, 323. So... Let's just move that. 288 meter or 288 capacity 306 meters wonderful by you set you to be yellow and set you on the spine of the world fluid handler or fluid hauler alrighty so where is it where, where did I put it there okay So here it comes. Beautiful. And that'll mean that Frisco has a tiny oil demand as well. And Provo will have an oil demand as well. Or fuel demand. So that is amazing. That is amazing. Let's have a look at our passengers down here. Uh, a lot wanting to go to Frisco, not so many wanting to go to Tacoma. Makes sense. The same over here. And down here, of course, everyone wants to go to Virginia Beach. Well, every everyone, the one person that's waiting there. But that's because he just missed the train. So there's 42 people on board. So that's not too bad. And they're of course gonna uh, get better separation as time passes. 
as the game does that automatically, which is awesome. Alrighty. So, that is fuel. For Tacoma, it's fuel for Waterbury. It's fuel for Virginia Beach, Frisco, and Provo. And it's passengers all the way from Tacoma and up to Green Bay. Or is it Memphis? Memphis. Alrighty. That is beautiful. And do we have more consumers here now? Provo and Frisco are not consuming anything yet because we need some cargo lines here. And that's fine. That is absolutely fine. We will get those in next time. So thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time